Hey, what's up, everybody? Um, I wasn't actually going to stream today. Uh, uh, happy Thursday. It's Thursday, right? Happy Thursday. Um, <coughs> I just, I literally, I woke up like maybe an hour and a half ago or something. Um, I haven't been sleeping well and I haven't been feeling good, which is cool. It's not uh, Corona related. It's just my dumb self related. Um, but I, uh, I talked to my doctor on Monday and I just got my prescription. So my prescription that I need that I haven't been taking for a while is a controlled substance. So they can't just call it into a pharmacy and the pharmacy can't just deliver it to me. So I had to wait until today to get it into the, in the mail. And then, uh, I was just about to go to the pharmacy like a few minutes ago when everyone else on our our multiplayer terraria server was like yo let's do wall of flesh we've been i we've been kind of like capped at gear and shit for like several days so i guess we we got to do it eventually so we're gonna do wall of flesh and i don't know how much more i'm gonna play after that i mean um cvs is open till like midnight so i i could stream a couple hours or something but i don't know We'll see. I hope you're doing better than I am. I mean, other than not feeling good, everything else is fine, though. Uh, all right, let's shut that up. Let's pop on over. I saw it today. I was asleep for the actual stream of it, but I saw the VOD Vinny taking credit for my beautiful unfinished castle, which honestly isn't that great right now. It needs a lot of work. Um. It didn't take me that long, surprisingly. Why is this here? Terraria. Terraria. Playing blocks with the boys. All right. Uh, so we're gonna kill Wall of Flesh. Maybe I'll show off some parts of the world or whatever. And then, um, you, you're gonna like my new outfit. You're gonna love the way you look. I guarantee it. Alright, so Norix and Mono are here. Oh, I'm gonna have to change my pixel, my scaling, huh? Uh, let's zoom in. I think I had it at like 135 before or something. Does that look okay? I'm I'm the fish lord. Lord of the fish. Uh yeah, so this is our base. Uh, legitimately, I I pretty much everything at our spawn area. Uh I d I did. Um because what happened is our first server that I streamed on last time I streamed this, we found out um, by accident we had created a small world instead of a large world and for like eight people a small world goes pretty fast um, so I uh, so we ended up creating a new large world and then just like bringing as many items and shit over as possible yeah, I need to get some potions from my potion stash. Um, swiftness would be good. Regeneration would be good. Uh, let's see. Night Owl, Shine. I got healing potions. Uh, yeah, let's take a couple of these. Um, we got another. We have so much shit. So basically what's ended up happening is other people play the game and they bring all their crap back here and then I spend time organizing it and then using up fucking ducks. Who put the duck? Who replaced the duck switch with a timer? There's this is supposed to be a switch, but now it just flicks on and off. Oh 
my god, this is gonna make the our spawn area so fucking annoying. Who did this? I'm 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 not okay with this. I'm gonna just have to I'm gonna kill all these ducks. See? Now it's on a switch. Now you can spawn ducks whenever you want, and it's fine. Anyways, so here's the the base. I can zoom out a bit. It'll look better. Probably zoom zoomed up. Um. Uh. All right. So this is the base. Basically, we had like thousands of blocks that needed to be used. So I was like. Let's build a castle or something. I'm trying to make it. I want to make a whole. This is like phase one. And unless I get completely fucking bored of the game, uh, which might happen, you know, because that's life. Uh, like this area is undone. This looks like shit up here. Um, but I have stuff to make like pointy towers, like cool roof tiles and stuff like that. And I want to make like a Castlevania castle. Like I want to have a bunch of different like areas like I want to have a big library area with lots of bookshelves and stuff and I want to have um, a place where we can display all of the turtles I mean all of our pets because I have just a chest full of animals they're f they're animals uh, like I got ducks I got owls I got four penguins for some reason um, but yeah oh fire blossom this is blooming. I need that. Can replace these. All right, and then let's um, protect these, and then quick stack. The main thing, honestly, I've been doing. A lot of while we're waiting to start hard mode is um, the fisherman quests because I want to get the the uh, PDA or whatever it, uh, it's called. Okay, that's empty. Anyway. <coughs> um, but our world, the transfer, we already have like most of the, um, what's it called? I need to, uh, get my shit sorted too if we're about to do the boss. Um, we should probably bring one of these down with us. And, uh, I have an ammo table that we should... Uh, or ammo box we should bring down with us too. I'm sicky fox. There's here's desert farting up a storm. Thanks for the host, by the way, desert. Uh, uh, there he, he, he's going. So yeah, we just have a ton of shit. So I have, basically I'm specking myself as a caster. Um, I have, so I also have these cool fish legs, the moon lord legs, which are like uh, a novelty item that you get from an Easter egg seed. So I have like tentacles instead of feet. Um, oh look, desert put golf supplies out here. We just got the golfer NPC. The golf is so fucking janky, though. It's it's fun, but it's also kind of weird. See, this is my golf hole. I don't think I have my... Oh, yeah. Let's see if I can sink this bad boy. What? Uh, 
Um, you get the golf NPC from. <laughs> uh, he appears in underground deserts randomly. Um, he's like the um a lot of the other. Whoa, that was loud. Yeah, it was. I got really excited. <laughs> um. He's like some of the, uh, like the other NPCs that are like trapped or bound or whatever. He's like those. I may have accidentally at one point broken all these torches. Ooh, that's not good. Yo, what is all this shit? I don't remember this being here. So I'm pretty strong for, I mean, pre-hard mode right now, between all my weapons and shit. I have Knight's Edge. I, I mean, like I said, I'm mainly caster. Focus. What the fuck is going on in here? Did they remove item drops from statues? No, there's still uh, statues that drop items. I don't know how much of, like, a platform they made for, like, fighting this boss. Uh, I played- I have a master mode, um... Uh, single player world that I barely played on that like yeah actually my favorite thing about master mode is it's really easy to grind um grind uh gold where is desert right now desert's over in the snow zone I don't think we're going to have a very uh, hard time with the wall of flesh, to be honest. Although I could have probably brought like more platforms or something. I mean, I've definitely beaten wall of flesh without having to do a big... Um, oh yeah, I have a rabbit mount too. Oh, this is plenty long, yeah. I don't know. I barely spent any hell, time in hell on this server. I spent time um, in the last one. How did my thing get switched back? That's weird. Where's desert? How's he out? I mean, I have uh, the demon scythe thing. Which is, is one of the stronger things to use against, um, the fucking Wall of Flesh. Between, I mean, Wall of Flesh is, is easy to beat as a caster, in my opinion. Um, the other thing I've been doing other than building while waiting to start hard mode is I've been doing tons of fisherman quests. And I only just got, I've done like 50 fisherman quests so far, and I only just got the first part of the, like, fisherman's tools. I'm 
waiting to, uh... Yeah, fish in hell, pretty much. I like this this set, though, that I have. Um, if I zoom in a bit. Check it out. When I take off my cool cape, though, I'm like a scary, like, eldritch fish monster. Bro. But I look cooler with the cape on. I look like a lord, like a fish lord. I mean, we could just wait. Why, why are you doing this? Uh, that was weird. Why did that thing only have a head? Why did Norix leave? Do banners hard cap the damage buff? I don't know what you mean by that phrase. Oh, Norix left his potions in his solo world. I get it. I mean, we have a million potions here. Like, I've been making potions nonstop. I'm pretty sure we have every pre, like, tons of every pre hard mode potion, but I mean, it's fine. I'm not really in a rush. Like, we could do this, you know over the weekend or like next week I don't really care I I've like that's why I, like at least with this game like I've played it enough that like even without doing um the hard mode stuff right off the bat when it's available like I just spend time building and um uh building and making uh what's it called potions and just doing random shit. The fishing quests. Why are we not using voice chat? Because this was like thrown together in like five minutes. And like it's hard to get eight people all together at once to do a thing. Oh, that was Tim. I wasn't even going to stream this, but then I figured, okay. All right. This was fucking easy. Okay, well, Norix got the first one. The guide has to respawn. Well, there was a new guide that it just said a new guide showed up. Ruminant bat. The fuck? Let's see if it works. If I just. Oh, yeah, we get souls now. I think the guide respawned. Let me just go ahead and solo wall of flesh real quick. I mean, might as well kill him as many times as possible while I have buffs. Oh, 
Ooh, I got the wall of flesh mask. Uh, did I get the hammer that time? Yeah, we're gonna start getting fucking hard mode enemies down here. I did. Strong enough to destroy demon altars. Hell doesn't have hard mode enemies? Yeah, what a tortured souls weren't here before. These guys. There's a trident wielding demon that does about 300 damage. Sick. Ooh, look at this. What is this? Chaos. Chaos emeralds. Got hit by a tortoise for 320 a master. Aren't tortoises just like normal uh, normal critters? Oh, did I lose my second summon? There we go. We'll have to see, um... We didn't do any preparation to stop the spread of, like, corruption or hollow or anything. Not that it's very necessary, to be totally honest, like... I mean, at some point you want to protect certain parts of your base, but... Yeah, Mono, your corruption area might actually turn into hollow after this. Yeah, it really only matters if you're going to spend, like, hundreds of hours in one world in hard mode. Yeah, I don't know, Mono. It depends on the positioning of your shit. Usually what happens is when hard... I, since it's such a large world, I think it's going to go way beyond your place. Where did Norix go? Oh. I do kind of wish the multiplayer scaling was a little bit better. Because, like, this is too easy, in my opinion. Normal is always too easy. I mean, hard mode in normal, it starts to get hard. Let's see, take that. Um. Sorry, I haven't been looking at chat all that much because honestly, my brains, I have the brain scramblies, you know.
I didn't get that other hammer, did I? Desert, where the fuck did you get? Desert, is that the gray zapper? Where the fuck did you get that? Laser rifle, huh? Leave these last two. You dropped it. What do you mean you dropped it? Yeah, um, I wanted to see where the hollow spawned too. I'm gonna bring this stuff back up though. And then, uh... Yeah, I guess we're gonna do more wall of flesh later. There's, yeah, we used all the guide voodoo dolls that we had, I guess. Um, yeah, so map. Let's look at the map. Oh, yeah. Pot lock. Duh. Oh, we got a B trophy, too. I should hang that up somewhere. I want to have a room in the castle, too, that's just all the boss trophies. So I'm definitely going to be expanding at some point. I do kind of wish, you know, the, the NPC happiness system is fine and it's cool. Um, I do kind I guess I kind of wish that like the happiness was more based off of like what you actually built for them versus, um, versus like where they are and who they're with because the new system kind of discourages you from building an area where all the NPCs live and it wants you to like spread them out. I mean, you can ignore it after, even after you get the pylons, you can ignore it for the most part, as long as you have two people at each pylon. But the thing is, is like, it's a pretty big impact on vendor prices. So like, if you actually buy shit from the NPCs, like, and you don't reckon, you don't make them happy, like you pay a lot more. I should eat too. Oh yeah, I have a fish. I have fish uh, grapple hook too to go with my f my fish cosplay. Um, yeah, I mean the the wall of flesh going fast. I mean, there's four of us, and we've all been like kind of at the pre hard mode cap for days. So, you know. I think if we were on expert mode or something, it would have been a little bit more, uh... Unhappy Keminator is three platinum. Yeah, see that shit like that is just like, okay. I'm not seeing... I'm not seeing any hollow over here. Or, or corruption. Yeah, master mode, I mean, I started my master mode uh, world. Um, I already had jungle armor and like the laser gun and I could not survive the first blood moon. Like I kept getting killed during the first blood moon I did. The fuck does that sound? Oh. Um, it's been a long time since I've played during, in master mode. So there might be like some time me figuring out uh, Thank you. 
Manos. I mean, Master Mode 2, I, it's really, I mean, it's designed for people who have played hundreds of hours of the game on Expert Mode already. It's, I, I think, Expert Mode, especially like the exclusive items and what have you in the different modes, I think there's more, more better rewards and more suitable amount of effort put in for doing, um... Oh, fuck. They didn't add anything to make the Christmas. I mean, honestly, for each of the bosses, it's like... What, like, there's, like, a cosmetic thing and, uh, and, like, a trophy? There's, like, a pet and a trophy, pretty much? This is Mono Mono's house. Sucks to live in Mono's house right now. Oh, uh, we're breaking all the things. Uh, stop. Uh, uh, why? Oh, I'm gonna die. What the fuck? I'm not paying attention to my health. Uh, aren't you not supposed to summon, break a ton of the things all at once? Uh, yes. Okay. It continues to break them. Whatever. Uh, anyways, <laughs> playing this game multiplayer is weird because everyone has their own priority. And, like, you can... Uh, okay. Yeah, I know you can break them. It's just also doesn't spawning more of the ore potentially spread more of the corruption and stuff like that. Oh, I must have lost some gold with that one. It's hard. It was hard for me to... Uh, There are like a hundred. Are there really that many? Because I remember when I played like years ago, I remember there being like a dozen in one world. But maybe it was because I was playing on a small world. I've been using a chart for NPC happiness too. Um, and the NPCs keep getting moved around. That's another thing about playing on a multiplayer server. Um, you know, like, I want to live with my wife, the Dryad, here in my special area. But some people keep moving the Dryad because they want to live near the Dryad, but I say no. Oh yeah, we're in hard mode. That means there's new planters and shit. Um. Or there's new, uh, shit you can buy. You wish you could design a house like this. It's not that, honestly... Maybe I'm, like, underselling it or something, but it's not that hard. I mean, I've played this game a lot. I mean, when we moved into this new world, the first thing I did was build this stuff. I built an area so that we could at least kind of sort our shit. Um, which... 
works pretty well. I need to redo our storage though, because like, look, we have like three chests of accessories. We have like two weapons chests. Lots of people put ranged weapons in the melee weapons chest. I mean, I'm not expecting everybody to know exactly like what all of these are supposed to mean. Um, but like at least for the most part, the uh, the most important thing really is. Um, The staircases, yeah, those take a little more time. I mean, I can show you. It's really, it's, it's still not that hard. You basically just need to have your hammer. Even if you don't have, like, background shit, like, look at this. You just do a thing, and then you just keep doing diagonally like this. And then you take your hammer, whichever hammer you have, and you just left-click each one. It's not that hard. You don't have artistic vision? I mean, realistically, neither do do I. I was just like, I want to make a castle. And I started with making these like these like background support things. And then I just like made a plane and I started building rooms in it. And I started building building up. Uh, you remember them snapping together like that automatically? Yeah, I think they did. So if you if you uh if you use the control mode or whatever, and you do it, like, sometimes they'll do it. But also the placement is, if you press, so if you press control, it turns on the auto place thing. Yeah, I guess you could do it like that, too. I didn't do it like that. I manually did it. I, my only plan, I don't have any of the tools. I didn't measure anything to, uh, and like some stuff looks bad. Like this little bridge thing isn't centered with this, like the church area, which looks kind of shitty. Um, like this room is taller than these two rooms, you know, but realistically, most of that shit doesn't matter. But part, most of the reason this was even made is just because like, we have so many blocks from so many players just coming back and dumping stuff. And we still have, like, all these chests of just unorganized stuff that people just kind of put down and threw their stuff in. I think some people are afraid, like, they're going to put stuff in here and, like, mess up where it goes or something or not be able to find it. Um, I mean, it works for me. This is what I do in, like, all my Terraria worlds is, like, I need to organize the inventory stuff. Otherwise, the game starts to become not fun because you're micromanaging between, like, your piggy bank and the void, ba void bag and the fucking safe and shit like that. But, like, this actually, we should probably, like, double or triple the storage space. So I might, that might be something I put into the actual castle itself. People know there's quick stack and storage order. Yeah. For the most part, I think people understand that. But also, a lot of people forget sometimes to, like, mark a thing as a favorite, and then they lose, they, like, lose an item because they quick stacked it. Or something. I, I don't know. I don't... I don't have that much of a problem with the inventory stuff in this game, but that's mainly because I've played like a couple hundred hours of it and I'm used to it. I know a lot of people like to use like inventory mods and shit like that. But as far as like the designs and stuff like that, um, most of this, a lot of this is just like the normal gray stone brick. There's a lot of ebon stone stuff too, like all these walls. Our ebon stone, these support pillar things are ebon stone. This like support running up the back and going across the here, here. That's all ebon stone. I can zoom in a bit more too. Now that we're done with the boss. Um, this is all one of the woods. I forget um which wood it is. Rosewood? Is that a wood? It's a rich mahogany wall. Um, stained glass, which you make using gems and glass. 
Um, these little things are fences. Fences are great for like different accents and stuff like that. Like these grates. This is this is um one of these is tin, I believe, and the other one is iron. So it looks like it's kind of shaded like that. Um, let's see what else. Uh, it's good for like little dungeony areas or like holes in your castle or whatever. Uh, fences. Um, things like up here. This is what it looks like when you stack fences on top of each other. You get like little designs and stuff like that. So you can do like cool little decorative things or like connecting like this is fence in between here kind of connecting these two uh parts and making them just look interesting i also like putting plant stuff in places so uh my idea is that eventually what i want to do assuming hard mode allows it um is i'm thinking that this is going to be actually like the middle of the castle and we have a whole nother like wing that goes out here and then they connect over top would be kind of cool even though it would encroach a little bit on our like tower defense area um it doesn't need to be that big at all but it doesn't take that long oh the other thing too is make builder potions and mining potions um then the other thing, I was thinking of building a tower here that maybe connects over since this is a nice little hill. I don't even remember what hard mode equipment there is and like what I should focus on right now. So I'm probably not, I'm probably going to wait until next time I stream this or I mean next time I play. Have I seen the cool stone walls you can get when crafting stone walls at a graveyard biome? No, I haven't. But Mono made that graveyard biome, so I mean, we could... We could potentially see. What do you mean crafting stone walls? You mean like... Placing down just stone blocks in the graveyard area? Or do you mean crafting like bricks? Regular stone turns into different stone wall textures. Interesting. Let's check that out. Check it out. I kind of hate the banners. They give you, you get way too many, uh, you get way too many banners in the game now. And they just like, I know they stat separate ones stack, but like you get so many of the same fucking one. Um,. All right, so we're going to go to uh, so just normal stone, you say. Probably got a bigger stack somewhere else. Wow, we're actually running low on stone. The other thing is I wish you could just hang banners on walls instead of having to attach it to a solid block. I wish you could either hang them on walls or hang them from platforms. That would make me so much happier. It would also be very nice if you could... Someone damaged my wall. Oh yeah, that's what this wall is, by the way. This is... Um, the outside framing is marble and then the interior white part is cloud. Cloud. Come squeal, cloud. You can hang them on platforms, just reverse the platform with a hammer. Uh, you should just really? What do you mean, reverse the platform? Reverse the platform. You mean like that? Oh, that looks so bad. Well, there's other shit in the way here. Hold on. Fuck. Oh, hey, that does work. Kind of dumb you have to reverse the platform, though, because then that kind of fucks things up. That's nice to know. Um, I... I s that actually is very helpful to know because that'll I can put like banners out here now and stuff like that. So thank you 
chat member. Appreciate the information. I am fucking rock and roll. Wamp wamp. I hate this song. It's like <laughs> so dumb. I don't hate it. I just it's dumb. Um Wow. Wow. I uh, the new music is kind of interesting. If you go talk to the party girl, she can like change the soundtrack for you, and it's all like orchestrated. It's really weird. I don't know if this is new music for 1.4 or if this was like in the console versions and they brought it to PC or something. Um, so let's go build stone in the graveyard, I guess. This an old save. This is the multi. This is the uh, the mod server. Oh, the party girl music is from Terraria Otherworld. Interesting. So, uh, what do I do? Do I use a workbench in the bone zone, or what? I ain't seeing no special stone. Oh yeah, no? Stone wall, old stone wall, craggy stone wall, worn stone wall, stalactite stone wall, mottled stone wall, fractured stone wall. Very interesting. I'll make a few of each of these to see what they look like. This music's so fucking intense now. Oh wait, that's just normal stone wall. And then I can, I can always come back if I need to make more. Mono's place is a fucking hellhole now. I'm gonna make 92 because it's a very good number. Oops, oopsies, 96. Yeah, we just went into hard mode just now. Uh, no, I the, Mono just put his graveyard in the middle of the corruption area, and I'm sure I don't know if you can even see it. Normally, there's like oh, the wizards here. Um, normally when when you open hard mode, it makes like a pattern. So I think it was just, you know, coincidence. Because this was all corruption. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Was that pink ice block? I just thought the hallow was a weird zone. As far as like scary hard mode zones, I guess that's the the like it's supposed to be that's like the irony of it, right? I like this song though. This song's pretty good. The the other world music is definitely not very terraria e. It's like Terraria if it got made like five or ten years later. Well, not ten years, like five years later. What's up, dog? What you got for me? Crystal ball, ice rod. Greater mana potion, bell, harp. I know most of these are crafting. Um, they're used for other crafting other shit. Let's go do a fishing quest, maybe. Oh, let me drop this shit off at, at the base. Um, I need another chest. Don't need that.
This music also gives me some kind of like Mario, uh, uh, what's it called? What's that game? Uh, Mario Galaxy vibes. I don't even know what a lot of this shit does right now. I am the fish man. Ah, uh, why did I just fucking save an exit? <laughs> Whoops. Whoopsie. Oopsie. Anything else I can stack? No, probably not. Yo, dog, what do you want? Cotton desert scarab fish. All right. What are these things? What is this? Detonator. What are these doing here? Um, closest one is here, yeah. I should get my buff. So I can get my double in. Just a fish riding a big rabbit. Fight Queen Slime as M Mono fucking dies. I can't fight any slimes. I gotta do fishing quests. <sighs> Did my music get reset? Fishing, fishing in hard mode with my fishing gear is a little risky. 73 fishing power. Oh yeah, I can get hard mode crates now, I forgot. All right, you little shit. Have I completed this game on expert? No, I haven't. I kind of, I haven't played this game since um, 2017 or something like that. It is like my second most played game on Steam, but like I've never done the Moon Lord. Like that, that came out way fast clock. Huh? That came out like way after. I guess I could do a little more fishing since I got sonar on. Moon Lord was in 2017 for sure. Yeah, I mean, that's the last time I played it. Fuck. Um, I don't know, you know, the last time I beat it was probably like 2014 or something like that. They fixed the cr I don't know what you mean they fixed the crate thing. You mean they rebalanced fishing or what? Oh yeah, you can't get the ores. I know about that. That's not a big deal. I still like the fishing. Uh, if I have a sonar potion, I might as well use it. They also slightly nerfed the um, 
the reaver shark or whatever it is. The the shark pick that you could get from fishing. I guess we're gonna do slime. Fast clock. Here you go, you shit. Give me something good. More sonar potions. Great. Just what I needed. <laughs> I mean, you say speedrunners got back to fuck O, but um, that's one of the things is like right before 1.4 came out, I went and I was like, oh, I'm going to look at a guide and see what progression is like for the game now. And literally like the main like, hey, if you're new to the game and want to do like progression in the game, the like main progression guide was all about fishing at the beginning. And I was like, this isn't how you play Terraria. Like, the main guide that they had linked on the wiki was, like, encouraging you to skip through normal mode, basically. And it was, like, I could see how that would be, like, as a developer, it would be confusing for new players if you had everyone who's played the game a lot being, like, yeah, you just wanted to fish for the entire beginning of the game. Don't even bother doing, you know, the bosses and don't bother doing this shit. You can skip all of it. Like, kind of ruins the experience of the game, especially for someone who's playing for, like, the first time or something like that. So, like, I totally get, uh, their decision. Because, like, fishing wasn't even in the game when it first came out. At least not in the way that it is now, where you can get, like, where you can, uh, progress through the entire early game really fast. At least not from what I remember. The fishing got a lot of depth added to it over time. Isn't fishing useless in hard mode anyway? No, there's like the fish run. There's like a fish specific bosses. I guess we're building a platform. Honestly, I just, it's the same as Minecraft for me. I like that there's some rare stuff you can only get with fishing. Um, but in a game like this, fishing is nice because it's just a chill thing to do when you, like, say you're watching a TV show on your other monitor or you're watching a streamer or something like that. And you don't really want to have to, like, focus on playing the game that much. But you still want to, like, make some level of progress. Like, that's what fishing is designed for. I should have given Norix, I should have brought an ammo box for you. Wow, this thing has a lot of health, huh? This is less than good. Do I have my, um, I do not. I was gonna say, do I have my fucking... I'm gonna die. Wow, just shit flying everywhere, huh? Last one alive! I can do it! I can survive! Fuck.
I mean, we don't have any hard mo mode gear. I mean, I think Norix made some or something like that, but... Yeah, we don't have any hard mode shit. Um, let's quick stack this bitch. And then let's pop open this yeah, iron skin. Give me that. Um, swiftness. Yeah, give me that. Give me that. Give me that. Give me some of that booty. Uh, where is... Can I not teleport to Norx? Oh shit. Featherfall actually will probably help a lot. Wow, these flying slimes are sure are cool. Should have made platforms? We did. We made this one. Easy. Ooh, I'm gonna die. Ooh, hello, possessed armor. Probably no point in wasting all my buffs, to be honest. Ooh, I didn't- I didn't get my imp buff. Fuck. Not like it matters, but... Well, that was quick. I mean, it's not like we spent a lot of time planning out a boss area to fight this thing. And I- I- my equipment right now is very glass cannony. For pre hard mode caster stuff. Do I have another health regeneration potion? Oh. Well. Yeah, we could have got it if we kept respawning and teleporting and dying and respawning and teleporting. I'd rather just, like, get the gear to fight the boss. I'm- Ooh! Well, that explains a lot. Yeah, 32 defense versus what? 19? Why do I have 19 wearing my Fisher gear? I thought it was way less than that. Oh, accessories, good point. Move Witch Doctor to Jungle Biome? Nah, I'm good. Um, I'll move him when I feel like it.
Uh, I think that's all I'm gonna do for stream today, to be totally honest. I, like I said, short stream. I need to go to CVS, I need to drop off this prescription, uh, and stuff like that. And then I actually have to see what stuff I want to focus on for hard mode. I don't really want to do that on stream. Um, but, yeah, assuming I feel well enough, I'll probably stream tomorrow. Um, probably earlier, definitely earlier, and I'll probably do... Uh, Seaman first, and then maybe I'll do some of this or another game or something like that. Um, but, uh... Uh... Ah! Anyway, that's all I got. You guys have a good one. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and, uh, let's, um, where's this shit? Where this shit at? Yeah, um, I'll catch up with hard mode stuff and figure out what I want to do. Um, but yeah, you guys have a good one. I'll see you later. Peace. Who's, I, I got a lot of people. Oh, I guess because Desert was hosting me. Thanks for the host, Desert. Um, but let's, uh. I don't know how much uh, longer Norix is going to be playing, so. But let's raid Norix. Um, yeah, you guys have a good one. Um, I'll I'll catch you if I don't stream tomorrow. It'll probably be the day after, so we'll see. Uh, anyways, have a good one. Peace.